Disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk. And with this, your discretion is advised. Ring. Um. The world is clad in white and red. The Awakened One sings a song of hatred and despair as she drains the color from the briefless bodies. Also, she got booby. In this deafening cacophony of paint screams, I say a silent prayer. Hmm? What the web? What is this? Organic matter infected with a parasite. Oh, mm. we were able to extract it out of Miss Milfshire while she was sleeping. Told her in the process, but she responded anyway. Hi, I'm Florence. Pleased to me to make your acquaintance. Hi, oh, hello, Florence. I'm Scarlet. So, Felix said you accept, accepted the Oracle voluntarily. You'll die in a few days, right? Uh, well, Florence, please have some tact. Ah, sorry, sorry. Shikyu, shikyu. When I regain my consciousness, I find myself gasping for air. Suddenly, my mind becomes filled with arrangements of letters, words, sentences. It's suffocating. I open my eyes after what feels like an eternity. Where? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't really understand what you're saying. The thing that they saved you from drowning. It's the language of the old world. Monica, you're okay? Oh, duh, I didn't lose consciousness like you did. Where are we? In the Logos village. It's located in the dimension inhabited with anthropomorphic languages. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. <coughs> I don't have much time. My scanning device has detected Ms. Wolfshire's presence outside of the village. Alright. Wait, what did I just say right now? Uh oh, looks like you got infected. Wait. Try saying something. Just like I thought, it must be because you almost found the word, word seam. What does it mean? Is there something wrong with me? Yeah, well, you got the local version of a cult. Rose, you'll be able to understand their language. Hans, none. Well, it rose off after a while. Oh, great, another disease. Hey, don't insult it. If anything, it's the fastest way to learn a foreign language. I mean, I'll wait temporarily. All right, fine. How do you happen to know so much? I don't happen to know. I've been studying these floors for a while. I thought of them as dimensions at first, but it would be more correct to refer them to them as floors. Is that so? You're quite dedicated, huh? Just want to be like uncle, that is all. Anyhow, I tried talking to the person who saved you. Thank you for saving me. You are welcome, dear guest. Our purpose is to serve you, speakers. Be free to speak. Welcome to the Locust Village. Only all the languages are on the verge of extinction, so we ended up in... Uniting our lands. So we're the only village left around here. Oh. If you can solve me, yeah, I'll let you pass. What for a letter word becomes sure if you add a second letter to it? It's gonna get any easier. Here you answer it. I hit the clues all around the village. 
Please find all the clues first. There's more to this puzzle than you might think. Yes, data deleted. As a rule, all the charlots have a parasite in the brain, so it's a special case. It's safe to assume that she might be an effective unit as there is no traces of the parasite in her brain. As a result, as a result, as a result she isn't acting according to the program. So far, the defective units have had different devi deviations, varying from having amorphite bodies to being physically or mentally disabled. I'm yet to confirm if Q84 has any of the disabilities come out, common to most of the defective units. One of the most common themes in the stories is that all Charlottes are per perpetually abused without finding back. Assume it's a way to create an emotional connection to the character. As soon as unit learned about it, humanity took measures to fight back. She stole the samples of white flu from the workers, the laboratories, and deliberately infect all the students who pass the trailer. When she found the white society, this is for the sole purpose of lowering the population of the school. She's planning to use mob mentality as a psychological weapon against the students themselves. But since I learned that she cannot die until her story ends, her mind's the date has become more unstable. Whenever she gets belly hurt, she immediately ends her own life without a second thought. I think it may be not wrong to assume that she's afraid of dealing with the long-term consequences of injury. Out of all NPCs, uh, seems to have taken a liking uh, to Anri. All she does is push her around and make her laugh at her jokes. This story's Miss Warhol is quite timid. And vulnerable, so it can't help but feel sorry for her. I keep reminding that she's not the Henri I knew. Not really, yes, I hate to admit it, I don't think it will last for long. I was even with the color white, it's almost religious, which is quite terrifying. Quite worrying, but terrifying too. Moreover, Q84 doesn't seem to forget the meaningful relationship with any of the time attendants. However, she does experience loneliness and subconsciously longs for attention. I'll be here. Obsessed, compulsive. Wash and repeat, it's not enough. 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 Okay. Let me tell you, I've, I got all the clues. Literally. Here I come the fortune. It says, oh, it's nine. What kind of fortune is that? Za. What for? You want the final clue for the riddle, huh? Here you go. And this one. Oh, sh So. S equals 8 is written on it. Nine. Four. Eight. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Ah. Uh, eight. Three. Nine, three, four. Alright, you may leave speakers. Four, one, three, two. <laughs> it is too much to memorize at once. I have a photographic memory, so it won't be a problem. Let's write it down in any case. Dirk's worth looking at the memory. Ah, huh, John, check it. Seth? Four. One, two, three. Eight. 
Yeah, I have an achievement. Brain I got just the cheater. Yeah, sorry. We're getting close. Already? Yeah, the source of this dimension's anomaly is up ahead. Well, brace yourself. Uh, Miss Isler, yes. What do you plan to do when at Wolfshire? I want to talk to her. It was clearly something she knew about this world that I didn't. Truth be told, I don't understand a lot of things about this place. It's so much different from what I was used to. Different in what way? Uh, well, this place just doesn't make any sense. The only place even remotely resembling true realm is the school. And I left the second floor because of that. It was the only place where I felt safe. But Wilfshire leveled it to the ground. I have no place to belong to anymore. Are you nervous? I'm fine. The sooner I find Wolfshire, the better. I wonder if we'll discover the secret behind the disappearance of the villagers too. Hold on tight. And so we got sucked into a pitch black vortex. Oh, my head hurts. Miss Donica, are you okay? Yeah, sort of. Oh, I should have worn a hazmat suit. We are underwater. Suddenly Felix's features become tense. Miss Eiler, look up. I do as I'm told. And the scene that unveils before me is... Excuse me, what the fuck is this? What is this? Looks like we found the missing villagers. They're all tangled inside. It appears that they were absorbed into this thing, whatever it is. Can we still save them? Well, halt. You cannot go any further. Who are you? I'm the guardian of the world scene. I protect the great cluster. This is how I should, it should be. The great cluster? The pure white one came and unified us. The pure white one became the core. It was both our and her wish. The pure white one? Is this about Wolfshire? Where is she? My hypothesis is that there is more than one child of Wolfshire in the house. Oh no. More than one? But how can it be? The Wolfshire who lived on our floor never went to floor 4, did she? However, there is something I don't understand. Why are you guarding it? Isn't this word cluster the reason for the extinction of your people? The Great Cluster is not the cause, it is the consequence. Can you just tell us what is, what's going on? I think I get it. The Great Cluster absorbs all the existing languages into it, and unifies them into one. And this Lord's child Wilshire must be in the center of all of it. She's the core of the Great Cluster. Yeah, you're, you're not in approval. The core? But why do this? Aren't you people... Aren't your people suffering? This is how it should be. The speakers are hurting. The speakers want to understand each other. So we will endure for their sake. Looks like we've come across a purely altruistic civilization. Why does it have to be like this? The villagers aren't happy about it. If anything, they're all depressed. It does not matter. We exist to be used by the speakers. If they want to hurt, we will become their weapons. If they want to deceive, we will become their shields. If they want to connect, we will become their riches. If this must be achieved at the cost of our lives, so be it. This is how it should be. Let's go back, Miss Isla. Our Miss Wolfshire isn't here. 
there's nothing we can do to help them. All right. Goodbye, World Sea Guardian. Farewell, speakers. So we returned to floor one and I fell into a deep sleep. Hopefully not too deep. Oh. <laughs> We have the wrong text, text box first off. A second off, stop it. Morning, Miss Isler. Rise and shine. I find myself unable to get up from the floor. My body feels heavy. <laughs> hmm? What's wrong? <laughs> Not feeling well. What about your little MacGuffin quest? Shut up. Oracle extends their hand to me. Here. A helping hand. <laughs> Things might seem... Not bad. A little hard right now. But let's get through it together. I don't take the oracle's hand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you don't accept our help? Your condition will worsen, you know. My condition doesn't matter. You're nothing more than a tool. And I'll be the one to decide when to use you. So don't you dare manipulate me. <laughs> oh. You're just so afraid of being incapable, aren't you? Because in truth, our little Miss Scarlet Isler isn't all that smart, is she? Uh. <laughs> Intelligent, athletic, and a beautiful all-around perfect. What? I just mixed up Monica's description and, and her. Just who in the world is that? Your super ego? <laughs> you only try to seem proper and organized. When in truth, you struggle with the most basic memory puzzles. Hey, stop it. So much that you rather have your puppeteer solve them for you. But. That's okay. You don't have to be special, you know. Just remember that we accept you just the way you are. Yeah, no. Monica isn't here. We should go look for him. Mm-hmm. Oh, hi. Good morning. Which floor are we going to do? Going ne to next? Uh, Miss Oniger? Ah, you were here. Didn't notice me at all. I'm busy. Lots of data analysis to do. Hey, Florence. Hey, sixth floor. Fine. Not very talkative today, are you? Need time to recharge. Very do feel like some in his pockets for what appears to be a tiny transmission device. Hello, Florence. Can you babysit Miss Isla today? No, no. And yes. Fine. You'll get your promotion. Florence arrives a few minutes later. After. Morning. Talk to me as soon as you're ready to depart, Miss Isla. Okay. Um. First of all, I want to invest. Okay, let's not go there. Did I go, uh, flasks. He's mumbling something to himself. Civilized man's eighth that is in by KL. A bit disappointed in Philosophy of Blade. Okay. The one that's calling you today, huh, Miss Isla? Let's go. My attempts at a friendly conversation will completely ignore. Let's see the door. Depart on the new journey. Destination reached. And we are here we are. 
Welcome to the Sixth Floor Laboratories. This place looks quite high tech. Well, of course, this place is built like a big testing polygon. Have you been there before? Yeah, kind of. Dr. Huxley makes us run all kinds of errands so they involve other floors too. Dr. Huxley? Henry Huxley. He's Mr. Hornigo's uh, uncle. Yeah, that's what we agreed on. Agreed on. Anyhow, Dr. Huxley is an amazing man. We all look up to him. Let's get to the to business, shall we? Uh, to the capsule to initiate a virtual vessel for him. Your body reacts in the detox. Well, this is new. Wasn't here before. Yeah, I can assume there is a reason there. The security measures, but I can't fathom what could it be. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. There's no thrill to it if you can get diced into cubes. Would it be weird to, for me to say I'm relieved? Up ahead, memory room. Yes, save. Okay, uh, what do you do? Yeah, of course. Do you have any vessels to spare in case this one dies? Well, no. And there's your answer. Virtual vessels creation successful. Success? So do you... Do I just respond if I die? Yeah, you will respond. But I wouldn't advise, advise dying because you'll go back to this very room. Probably. Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Left to right. Okay, from I will rem memorize from left to right. Say, hey, Florence. Okay, this song is bapping. Oh no. Dave, Florence. Yes? You seem to be rather talented. Why do you work for Felix Honecker? Uh, well, I don't really work for Mr. Honecker. It's his uncle I'm in debt to. He saved me from your barrier, after all. Barrier? Is that a company name? Nah, it's a planet. A planet with two types of humans. A woman and men. In other words, those who are worth something and those who aren't. As I came to know later, there really wasn't a difference. I was a test subject for new inventions in the prophetics department. They cut my own limbs off and kept really attaching new ones over and over. I couldn't move my myself and had to be taken to my room in a wheelchair. They feed me through a tube. Now that I remember it, personal hygiene was also impossible without the help of the assistants. Talk about personal space. Why are you smiling while telling me this? It's a whole memory, isn't it? I, uh, I don't really think about it. What's up with that reaction? Shouldn't there have been organizations that should have defended your rights as a human? There are many. But they killed more of us than the scientists did. How come? Shouldn't they protect you? If you couldn't be used commercially or kept as pets, be it for therapy or sexual purposes we weren't needed by our men so if you weren't fishable enough wow well, you're you you'll just throw that or well thrown out in this in this sense is more like yeah a date that's the reality that had to be accepted besides you can't just trust an organization that claims if you use if you use to feel and see to be a product of love. I'm sorry. No of us needs your pity, Miss Eiler. You can ask me anything. So, uh, are all of your limbs artificial? Yeah, that's right. I sampled them myself. 
Before that, there were there was a period when I had various alien-looking prosthetics. Then Dr. Huxley cut all of them off, so I left as a talking also for a while. Ben was in charge of taking care of me back then, but he wasn't really good at it. Well, I'd rather not dwell on the past. Too much on the past, you mean? Because... Well... So let's proceed. Welcome blue and yeah, yellow only. Hmm. Ah. Each person must drink from the vials to proceed. If it contains poison, it's just a simulation, right? Hey, right. but one of us won't be able to proceed past this point. But then, how? Might be a trap too. Yeah, they may want to separate us, but it's okay, Miss Ida. I can drink it. Are you sure? Yes, you need to find Miss Wolfshire, don't you? So don't worry about me. Besides, this is whole civilization. Smells like a cheap egg angst from. I'm not letting that escalate. Drink from the right pile. Bones drinks the wild with the poison. Ugh. The image becomes distorted. Then there's silence. She's gone. We need to keep moving forward. Let's go, Seth. Hmm. Time to focus. What the? Congratulations. Lawrence, told you I got back faster than completed those rooms. But how? Let's say I took the secret passage. Anyway, let's get moving. Miss Wolfshire's presence is this close. Our TV ball project chamber. Why? That's a big pile of what? Whoa. What in the world is this? Phew, this place hasn't changed one bit. You've been here before? Yeah, well, it's a long story. You can take your time looking around. By the way, why isn't anything moving? This area appears to be in a stasis field. Just look at all these mech hats. I was in charge of this place. They probably wanted to stop the investigation from spreading. Wait, what? My cats? Both a mech and the cat. A mech cat. Ugh, gross. Come on, they're lovely. I've always wanted to keep one, but bee workers are weren't uh, are allowed to have pets. There's no way I'm never keeping one, ever keeping one. To each their own. Let's get to our investigation. You know they make really loud sounds when they communicate, like meow. This person says what's to know. We if the cops are soaked in blood. To feed on brains? No, no. They aren't zombies. If that's what you wanted to know. They feed on feelings and emotions. Mainly negative ones at that. Here is a really strong emotion, for example. What inside the TV? Watch a brand new universe develop in real time, right before your eyes. Every character is a main character. Follow the FIFA story with us. Uh, the Oracle project. The Oracle? The Parasite? Do remember that we are on a different floor. Local scientists might have given this name to something else. Once we just ought to do pet Hi, little backhand. I'd rather not touch them. I'm sure you'd change your mind if you met the domesticated mech cat. Did you know? The mech really does everything around. On vices and communism. Hmm. Ah, I found something in these pockets. Let's use it. There was a con console here.
Artificial religion and game theory. Artificial religion and game theory. Turn back, Miss Arthur. In a simulation, but still. There's a parallel world. Oh. There's something written on the screen. Can you read it? Hmm. Let's see. It says the Oracle Project. Name Charles Wilshire. Unit 091. Eh? There it is. Brain activity green. Vitals activity green. Lung oxygen green. It's. She's still alive? Seems like it. They are probably keeping her alive for the sake of TV world. It's a universe of her own. Of her mind, after all. If she were to escape or die, I'd ruin the show. So they weakened her body and keep her mind on suppressants. Ironically, it's the Mac Hat investigation that got these scientists in the end. Like this? What? I didn't hear you. Something like this. It's too cruel. It's the entertainment industry, Miss Eiler. I mean, you can't make sense. You just need to accept it. There's no way I'll accept something like that. It's wrong. Why should should it be like this? And people are from do uh, from the second floor. It's so difficult. If we do, we can't leave her like this. Is that so then? Or do you suggest Miss Isla? Kill her? No. And then turn her brain into a new vessels. Completely wiping her memory and therefore killing her as opposed no I. And the only right answer is, let's go. But I just want to help. You can. There's nothing you can do. I let's use the simulation, Miss Isla. Your Miss Wilshire isn't here. It's unfair. I'm very sure they didn't want to end up like this. Why must it be that way? Perhaps that's how it should be. There's no way I'll be at peace with this. Why can't I save anyone? With a heavy heart, we shut down the virtual simulation program and return to our bodies. I've returned to normal. Seth, let's check on Florence. Hey, Florence? Florence? Wake up! Uh, uh, thank God you're awake. You worry too much, miss. I'm alright. It doesn't seem like it. What happened? Oh, well, this capsule was advertised as a detox spell, right? Looks like the soap effects were off. Excuse me. Let me explain. We workers have regular soap intakes as a must. It affects us in a way where we become restless and hyperactive. Alarmingly so. Also, it lowers our intellectual abilities and inhibits analytical thinking processes. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to work 20-hour shifts with much, such rigor. Nobody would. Not after what we went through before our life here. You were raised in the labs, right? Yeah. Imagine in living in a box with no control over your life. The lights go on and off. Sometimes you get food. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes the food's poisoned. On purpose, of course. It was like that for Ben too. No wonder he wants to forget. Thankfully, they didn't use us for breeding, but there was a department for that too. Ugh. No, brain, stop there. Lecter was there. Lecter, a co-worker of mine. You don't want to know him. Okay. Most of the workers have severe PTSD. Except the androids, they have it easy. That's why soap is the best thing that happened to us. We can just happily move forward and do errands without thinking too much. I'm trying to keep the dose in check, but Bennett is a total soap chunky. Shouldn't get emotionally involved with these people's problems. Only finding Wolfshire matters. Can you walk? Yes, yes, don't mind me. Let's leave. Offered Florence my shoulder and she leans on me. We slowly walk toward 
the elevator and left 6F, the sixth floor. And 